How do the muscles move the arms and the legs? Firstly, limb muscles work in pairs. As one muscle contracts, the other muscle relaxes. This allows the contracting muscle to pull the limb in the direction of the contraction. The key point here is that all the work is being done by the contracting muscle. The relaxing muscle doesn't push the limb when it relaxes. Muscles themselves are attached by tendons to the limbs, the main component of which is collagen. It's very strong under tension, allowing all the power created by the muscles to be conveyed to the bones without the tendons breaking. It also store some of the energy of movement springing back into place afterwards, making movement more efficient and more powerful. This does mean, however, that any damage to the tendons can seriously reduce the ability to move, and they do take a substantial amount of time to heal fully. The muscles are arranged in thick strands or fascia compartments, with each having their own blood supply, nerves, connective tissue. These have separate anchoring points allowing for flexibility of movement or rotation of the limb. Within the fascia are fascicles or smaller bundles of muscles. These in turn contain rod-shaped myofibrils or tubes of muscles which again contain thick and thin filaments. This structure of muscles with the different levels within the structure mean minor damage to the muscles mean that can still function normally and even with severe damage to the muscle may reduce limb movement and flexibility but the limb will still be able to move even if in a reduced fashion. Now the thick and th thin filaments are the key to muscle movement. The thick filaments form cross bridges or attachments to the thin filaments. Using these, the thick filaments then pull the thin filaments past them. This movement is synchronised across the whole muscle, meaning that as it contracts at the same time, pulling the limb as a result. The attachment are formed by myosin from the thick filaments using ATP and ADP, or adenosine triphosphate and adenosine diphosphate, to attach and then to release the bonds. Though the pulling is synchronised, the attaching and detaching isn't, enabling a smooth movement rather than a jerky one. These filaments increasing in size is generally thought to increase muscle strength after exercise, though the precise nature of this still needs more research. The muscles themselves are also divided into two types of muscles, fast twitch muscles and slow twitch muscles. The slow twitch muscles contract relatively slowly but have great endurance or stamina, whereas fast twitch muscles move quickly but also tire quickly. Slow twitch muscles use oxygen in the energy production are the ones used mainly by things like marathon runners. Fast twitch muscles don't use oxygen in the energy production, the ones used by sprinters, and generally need quite a recovery time after use. So that's an introduction to the action of limb muscles.